The Panasonic GH6 has a lot of tool built-ins, but it doesn't have false color. And we can do a little trick to make it. We all know that the GH series provide videographers with many convenient exposure control tools other mirrorless cameras do not have, such as waveforms. In most scenarios, exposure using waveform is sufficient. However, in more complex scenes, you may need false color to work faster because you can see the IRE value of each part of the image. Fortunately, we can load a false color LUT in the VLOG View Assist menu to achieve this feature that only some higher-end cinema cameras have. Since the GH6 use a dual-gain output sensor that provides additional 1.5 stops of dynamic range, I believe that most professional creators will use the VLOG Plus Dynamic Range Booster mode. Otherwise, its dynamic range is even slightly worse than the old GH5s. So the LUT has only targeted the VLOG Plus DR Booster mode. There are two materials for making the false color LUT. The first is the official Panasonic VLOG to V709 LUT, and the second is the LUT Calc conversion tool developed by Ben Turley. The general idea is to modify the official LUT based on GH6 characteristics. By observing the waveforms, we know that in VLOG plus DR booster mode, the highlight clipping point of the GH6 is around 88% IRE value, which is a crucial reference indicator. We will repeatedly adjust an output LUT in LUT calc, and then load it into the camera for testing. The goal is to match the image's false color overexposure part, the red color, to the clipping areas that appears in the waveforms. And the value is roughly 4.9 stops above 80% gray. OK, we got the desired data. Let's generate the LUT. Open the LUT Calc web app. In the LUT Analyst section, select Choose File to load the Panasonic 709 conversion LUT. Note that the file format is the cube. Click Analysis and let the web app do the work. Change input gamma to Panasonic V log and input gamut to Panasonic V gamut. Go to the right side of the page because we are using LUT for monitoring. So check camera monitor LUT. Then select the Varicam 3D M LUT in the drop down menu, which is the monitoring LUT format that Panasonic cameras can recognize. Name the LUT as you wish. Now change the camera model on the left panel. Since the website does not list the GH6 model yet, we chose generic. Ensure that the red gamut is Panasonic V log and the red gamut is Panasonic V gamut. On the left panel, scroll down to the button, check the false color radio button and change the value of red color to 4.9 stops above 80% middle gray. The default is 6 stops. Here we're finally ready to generate our LUT. Click the Generate LUT button on the right panel, download it from the browser, then copy it to the root folder of your memory card. Now let's start using this LUT to shoot videos on GH6. Click on the menu button to enter the camera setting. Use the Q button to move the custom menu. And then we use the front dial to scroll to the first page of the monitor display submenu. Then you can see the VLOG view assist item. I suggest you add it to my page item so that you can easily and quickly switch between different LUTs. Read LUT file from either the SD or CF Express card slot, depending on the memory card. GH6 provides in-camera storage for four custom LUTs. You can put them in successive positions according to your usage frequency. Well, that's all. Please let me know if you have a better and more accurate method. Have fun.